Hello, fellow Flutterists. <laughs> Long time no see, right? So we've been quite busy over here. We changed offices and then we had a bunch of client work to do. But now I am back and I've come back just to do a very quick video because we are still quite busy. But at the same time, I still want to show you something that I find to be such a, uh, such a help to us in our work. Now, we love Flutter a lot, and as you can see in the video, I'm going to be showing you a little trick I learned about in Flutter. Now, this is not going to be necessarily a trick about when you're writing Flutter apps, uh, at least when you're writing the code, but this is a little trick to kind of help you if you run into an issue that I'm going to talk about right now, which is uh, sometimes in Flutter, uh, because it's being worked on so rapidly, sometimes some things break for some reason and you need to be able to you know, keep moving on. And so you may find yourself that, okay, sometimes this Flutter SDK works with this project, but it doesn't work with this other project. And sometimes a new version of Flutter comes out and it has some bugs, uh, so you wanna roll back. And that to me has always been quite difficult to do. I mean, you'd have to go to the Flutter directory uh, and try to use Git and, and all these kind of other things. And you know, uh, as you guys know, we do write a lot of Elixir apps, and I heavily, heavily use ASDF for that reason. It's very easy to install Erlang and Elixir and, and keep those uh, set up with a uh, this called this tool versions file. And I was so happy to find out that ASDF also supports Flutter. So in this video, I'm not going to show you how to install ASDF, but I will show you how you can use ASDF to uh, you know, get your own little Flutter version working per project. And without any further chatting, <laughs> let's go ahead and let's get started. So I wanted to show you that you see over here, I actually have version uh, 117.3. It's not the latest version, uh, but it's just to show you what version I'm using right now. And what I'm going to show you is that if you use ASDF plugin add Flutter, this will add the Flutter plugin. So it's a very simple command you can see over here. So if I type ASDF, uh, ASDF list, you'll see we have no Flutter versions installed. And so I can just easily install one. So I can first check out, you know, what is the latest version right now? So ASDF list all Flutter, this will show you all the versions. And you can be very specific. Uh, now, the nice part about this is that you can see what's kind of pre-dev, what's the late, you know, what's the stable. You can get the other stables, etc. So in this case, I'm just going to grab the latest stable version over here, which should be this one. So I'll just copy that and Command C to copy it. ASDF install Flutter and then just paste that in, <clears throat> and that's just going to grab the latest version for me. Uh, this is 117.5, and it has, doesn't have to be the latest version either, right? This is just one of the latest stable version at this time. Uh, but for instance, actually, I do have a project which 112 uh, Hotfix 5 stable is actually the uh, latest one it can use to do a certain problem. So I hope you get that fixed. Have it all set up. Uh, if I check uh, what's going on, we need to still. So if I still run Flutter Doctor, you'll still see that. You know, actually, it's going to see that we actually set up Flutter, and it's going to say you have to at least add one of these to uh, my tool versions file. And so, in my here, I actually have a tool versions, and that's going to be my local, my basically my global one. So I can set up ASDF global Flutter uh, one seventeen five stable. And now, if I run this, you will see. That I am running 117.5 instead of the 117.3 uh, or 4. I can't remember what it is. And so that's how you can get set up with ASTF and Flutter. Uh, again, thank you for stopping by. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. We will be doing more in depth videos, and I would like to actually start doing some more Flutter videos once things become a little bit more calm. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Hi. Please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir, Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here is our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We will answer your questions every Friday.
Yamantai, Kedak Mun O, Yawenti, Jita Wenwo, 